Hello everybody, this is Trainer Connor 100 and I'm joined with Kubo98. How are you doing? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm doing really well, thank you. It's been a while, we're back. And the reason why we haven't been uploading, well, I'll make it long story short, I forgot my DSs on the way back from spring break, so that meant I couldn't upload anything as far as this is concerned. But we are back and ready to get going. We actually, in the last video, we took down the Master Trainer. So we're heading into 40, 41, and 42 in this series. This is episode 14, and we're ready to rock and roll here. A few changes in my team. We're going to keep the Gengar and Garchomp. I need to figure out who I'm going to lead out with. But this is my team. I'm changing the item. I had the Prison Berry for a Garchomp. Change it to Yaka Berry, and we have a Mega Gengar. Cobalt 98, what do you have for us? I have the defensive Alakazam with the Alakazam Knight. Mm -hmm. And I also have Torcat, also known Thundercat, also known as, well, Luxray. Nice. So we haven't we haven't seen Luxray yet. Not sure how well he's gonna do. We haven't seen him before, obviously, but I'm thinking that he's going to be a great addition to our team. It's gonna make it interesting. Oh yes, that's for sure. And the, we don't know what kind of battles we're gonna have here. That's the idea. So I'm gonna start out with Gengar here and have Shark Bite the Garchomp in the back. Again, this is battle number 41, 42, and 43. I believe that's what I said earlier, but if not, then this is, this is the correct one. So we're going to connect real quick. We'll yes, see you guys on the battlefield. All right, guys, welcome back to the battle. This is our first one here. Let's see what our opponent is going to be bringing. Who are you going to start out with, Kubal? Well, I'm going to start off with the defensive Alakazam. And this one. Alright, not a bad idea. We're seeing a scientist and a black belt. Yeah. The reason for that is, who knows what they're going to bring out, so might yeah. as well have one of the more defensive Pokemon out first, just in case. Yeah, that's a great idea. So we're seeing a Rotom Freeze form and a High Dragon. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely glad that I decided on the defensive Alakazam first. Mm-hmm. So, what's your plan of action here? I can tackle two of these guys here. S same with me. Dazzling Limb is going to hit High Dragon very hard. Yep. So, I would probably do that first, and then we'll go from there. So, let's see what you're going to do. I'm faster. So, we'll go Mega first. And, uh, see what happens, right? You know? Yep. Alright, we got a Mega Gengar and a Mega Alakazam. We kept saying that this is extremely powerful up front for our opposition. You know, they're fearing two Megas in the same battle, so. Dazzling Gleam is going to hit the Hydreigon not as hard because of the berry he's holding. But yeah, but that won't matter because, well, what's about to happen? Oh, dang, you have a, you have a double Dazzling Gleam here. Easy, easy KO for Hydreigon there. It was a critical hit. I don't think that mattered, though. Thunder Not really, wave. no. Thunder Ooh. Wave kills the speed for Gengar. That's unfortunate. Magmortar. Oh, boy. All this right. is going to... This is having... Oh, it's Magmortar with Air Balloon. So that means that you can't use Earthquake, but we don't... So that really... <laughs> that hurts for Garchomp, but I don't have him right now. So I'm going to stay in here and shadow ball on the Magmortar. Uh, I want for the sake of on the road I'm not Okay, so you chose to knock him out. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Four blitz. I didn't see this coming. This should not kill. This is why <laughs> this is why defensive Mega Alakazam is so good. It's super powerful and bulky at the same time. Alright, we popped the air balloon. Bronzong. Okay. I kinda wish I had fire type attack, but I don't. I think Shadow Ball is super effective too, so. Yeah, it is. I'll do that right now. Gengar. And it's looking like we might not be able to use Garchomp this battle. 
Which that's great, you know? Yeah, that is. So all right, my water goes down. And shadow ball. Nice. Perfect. It's an easy KO. And that's going to be the end of this fight right here. So that was number 41. Now we're going to 42. We're seeing a police officer and another scientist. Which is fine with me. Sock and Cough Grigus. We are familiar with Sock because we faced him before. But we're not sure. Every time we fight the same Pokemon in the past, they can go have the same moveset, but then... I actually faced Coffee Grigus, not in, um, the Bowtree, but in, in Wi-Fi Battles. So, right? so you're familiar with what you can... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I know what all these Pokemon can do. So, if I go for the Mega Evolution, I can easily wipe out Coffee Grigus here with a Shadow Ball. I'm faster than it. Uh, we... We have super effective moves as well. Yeah, that's why we have these moves ready to go. Very important for the long run. Interesting that you're using Gathering Gleam over Psychic, but again, it doesn't matter. Earthquake, oh boy. I know I didn't Mega Evolve, but that, that was that. Yeah, you did your Mega Evolve. But oh, I, damn. I'm actually saving that. That's a good idea. So there's a reason why I haven't Mega Evolved. Ooh. Did you see that? He's life orb. That's why I was really surprised I did a lot of damage. Wow. So we're going to be using Shark Bite in this video after all. Alright. Slow King. You know what? I'm gonna go for Rock Slide because I can probably knock out Shock as well. This time we're going in for the Mega. Mega. Mm -hmm. No. Alright, let's see what happens here. Are you going for the Dazzling Gleam again or a second? I'm not sure. Mold Breaker, Psychic, in this case. <laughs> All right. Good. Well, Sock is out of the way. Yes. So, I have to use Rock Sight on the Slow King, which is fine. I'm hoping for a flinch. We've gone, we've gone really lucky with the flinches, and we get it, so that's good. Heracross yeah, could it's be like, a Mega. Yeah. Which... Alright, I have the luxury to go for an Outrage right now. We'll target anyone. And it is a Mega Heracross. So be careful. It's gonna probably hit you. Guys, I'm going to still faster than it. Okay, yeah, they did some damage, but... Gets it to half health. Yep. Outrage hits Slow King, which is okay. I honestly didn't know who it was going to be. Close combat. It's going to hit Ooh. me. That <laughs> did a lot of damage. Wow. Am I faster than a Mega Heracross? Because the regular Heracross speed went into account. Alright, never mind. I am faster. Great. So we took out Heracross. Just like that. That was scary. That Pokemon is strong. There we go. We took care of the second trainer. Or trainers, if you want to do it that way. <laughs> yeah. Another sign is a dancer. Okay. Who are they bringing to the table? Ridiculous and Feralgator. Nice. Good choices. Definitely good choices. Yeah, because mm. I don't think we've faced them before. So, mm -mm. Wow, this is a, a field day for... Um, well, actually, Psychic is weak against me, but I'm also going to hit the Ridiculous with a Shadow Ball anyway. Hang on a second, if I went for Destiny Bond and it went for Psychic and knocks me out, I will also knock out Reinicolus. Is that risky? That's risky, but hmm. if you think you can pull it off, go ahead. Lee, Destiny Bond, here we go. Come and attack me, Reinicolus. Shaggle Ball. Okay. No. Yeah, that didn't... Uh-oh, Dragon Gas, this is bad. We want to make sure that Brawler gets taken out. Gets taken out like uh now. Yeah. All right. This is what I'm talking about. This is perfect, actually. Look at that. We got a double down. So he knocks out my Gengar. We take out Reinicolus. But now we need to take care of the Feraligator because that plus one it can hit pretty hard. 
So we go into the car shop and we see a wishy washy. Okay. Can go into school for him here, which is pretty badass. I wish I was scarfed at this point, but we're not. All right, I know you can live in an earthquake, so I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he's going for another dragon gas. Okay, so I hope you're attacking the alligator. I am. Okay, good. Because I'm going for earthquake here. He's going to target both Pokemon. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, thank goodness. That scared me a little bit because a plus two for alligator, for all I know, is gonna knock everything out in sight. That gave some damage. Ice Beam, and this is why I have the Yaki Berry. Perfect. It's gonna take that damage and cut that damage in half, I mean. And now we have the power to use Outrage. Assuming I'm faster than Jolteon, of course. Jolteon is pretty fast, but you never yeah. know. Thank you coming from Jolteon here. Outrage, please target the Wishy Washy, and you got it. Okay. So I'm going to lose my Garchomp, most likely. Maybe. Wait, hold on. What is this? <laughs> you have the, the luxury to knock out my Garchomp, but you didn't. I don't know what the CPU was thinking, but <laughs> Garchomp gets to live another day. And we're going to finish this fight by knocking out Wishy Washy and... Wow. <laughs> that is hilarious, but... Uh, Damn. What would you expect? Another Ice Beam or Waterfall boosted the rain. That's what I'm thinking. But he could do it. Wow. That is surprising. Alright. So we took care of those three trainers to take 6 BP from these guys. So in total we got 6, 12, 18. 8 KBP. And that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to our channels. My channel and Kubo Nagi's channel will be in the description. And look out for the next episode coming here real soon. Do you have any last words for you in this one? Mm, no. Alright. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next battle video. Take care, trainers. See you around.